Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be installing this hub motor, 500 watt, into this 26 inch rim. It's an aluminum single walled rim, it's the best one I've got for the time being. And to do that, I'm going to be using these and these. So let's get going. One take, here we go. I'm no expert at this, but we're going to give it a shot. Lay out all your parts. This is the best spot I have to work in, so bear with me. To start with, you want to take all your spokes on this type of wheel and lace them all down from the top every hole. Because of the size of this thing we're not going to be doing half on the inside, half on the outside. So there will be 18 on the left side and 18 on the right side, or in this case the top and the bottom. Sorry for the lighting and the fact it's a little bit dirty, it's the best place I have to work here. Alright, so once you get the top ones all done, you uh, flip it over and do the other side. This is a 500 watt uh, brushless DC motor. It's uh, going to be running on a full size mountain bike. This is a front motor, so it has no cassette or anything like that. And 36. Alright, so there we go. We're going to just sort of move these out of the way so that I can do this. And that's the way your thing should look right now if you've done everything right. This is going to be a one cross system, so we're going to be crossing one spoke over the next. This is the closest to straight lacing, but it's not straight lacing, it's one different, so all your spokes are just going to hang in between each other like this. I'll show you a better angle in a second. Okay, so now there's some sort of semblance, and I'm now going to, oops, now I'm going to lift this down, the spokes facing away from me, find your valve hole. And I find if you hold it towards you, it makes this part a little bit easier. So what you're going to do is take one spoke off the right side, and you get to poke it through the hole right beside the valve stem, to the right of the valve stem. Grab a nipple, throw it off. Now, the way I've found the best way to keep track of this is, is to take the next spoke on the same side and go two back underneath. So there's the one beside and then the next one over. Okay. So now, we got our first two spokes in. 
So now we're going to take the next one and go four ahead. So we're going to skip, take this one here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to drop a spoke in that hole. Okay. Now the next spoke on the top goes underneath and goes back to. Alright, so we turn a little bit here, take the next spoke, and go four ahead of this one here. So we go one, two, three, four. spoke on the top, go underneath and go back to. Okay. So now you can start to see the pattern taking shape here. Take the next spoke. Side this one, go one, two, three, four, drop it in. And I should mention I'm no bike mechanic, um, just a guy, so please don't get on my video too much. The next spoke, go underneath, go back to, and you should start to see a pattern forming here. All right, now if I stand the up, I'm going move these other spokes out of the way, you can definitely see a lacing pattern forming. You'll also notice that every second hole on the top is empty. That's because that's for the other side. Twos and fours. So I'm going to lay this down again so it's a better camera angle. I'll rotate around. And the only reason I'm really doing this laying down on the floor is because it's the best camera angle I can get with my iPad. Okay, so take the next spoke. Count from this one. Go one, two, three, four. The reason I'm doing this video is not because there's no things on lacing wheels, it's because I haven't seen anyone show a thing on lacing a hub motor. The next spoke, go back to. If there is one on lacing a hub motor, for total noobs like me, then it's probably better than mine, but if this one helps you, then great. Next spoke, one, two, three. When this is done, a second, flip it over and do the same thing. Okay, so we'll go back to the valve stem, which is right here. Just pull these on top. All right. So the valve stem is right here. So we're going to grab uh, this spoke here. Okay, it's the one right in between these two. Sorry, that's wrong. This one here. Is that right? No, it's this one. My mistake. We're going to start with this one here. And throw a nipple on it. Next spoke, which is this one, goes back to. Take the next spoke, and the last one. One, two, three, four.
Seems to have missed a hole, so just make sure you're counting your four ahead and two back, and you should be fine. Found my error. <laughs> now we'll carry on releasing this hub motor. Alright, so there you have it. It's loose, it's got to be all tightened up. These are just figure tight right now. Shoeing is a different story. Plenty of videos on how to do that online already, so I won't bore you with that. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the valve stem down here, these two spokes are almost perfectly uh, parallel to each other, so you get really great valve stem clearance. You can get, I don't know, some five inches in there if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to finger tighten these up now. Alright, if you watch to the end, I applaud your patience. Thanks for watching. And, uh, Keep in mind, it's my first time making a wheel lacing video. And that's lacing a 500 watt motor into a 26 inch rim with the ideal valve stem clearance. Doesn't get any better than two parallel spokes. Cheers YouTube.